I'm actually old enough that when I grew up, we kind of knew that there was a piece called Kullervo, but, but it wasn't actually available. And I had never heard it. And all we knew was that it was the earliest major orchestral piece by Sibelius, and he banned it after the first uh, performance, and, and only after his death was it allowed to be performed. And, and of course, everybody was very, very curious about it, and, and it was really fascinating to hear it. It's like a raw, raw diamond in a way, and it's an unbelievably dark story. But it's not the kind of piece that you do every year. It happens rarely. You need a chorus that can speak Finnish, and you need soloists who can also pronounce all these strange words. Orfe Drenger is, is a very, very high quality um, chorus and every time I've done anything with them in different languages, they have been pronouncing it better than the natives. So I'm expecting to hear Finnish, which is clearer and more poignant than mine. We were asked by Esa Pekka Two years ago, we started the discussion of doing Kulevu together. And so now we have rehearsed here in Uppsala. We've also had help from a Finnish uh, language coach. And tonight, we were happy to see Esa Pekka here at our rehearsal to do the Finnish and uh, put the atmosphere, really the atmosphere of this work. <laughs> I mean, it's a strange work. It's Opus 7 of Sibelius, so he was very young when he wrote it. And it's the old, from the old Kalevala story, Kullervo, and it's a dramatic story. And the musical language is odd and strange for its time. 1891. I, for instance, have been conducting it from uh, a photocopy of the manuscript, which is perhaps the most illegible thing I've ever seen in my life, but, but it's still somehow great to see his handwriting. He, he was a very spontaneous kind of um, volatile personality, and, and the manuscript really tells you where he is at mentally, because it's a sort of a proto Sibelius. There's a lot of stuff that he developed further throughout his life, and then there's a lot of stuff that he didn't. Some, something that he only did in Gullerv and, and never again. It's something unbelievably powerful, trying to be born, and doesn't quite make it always, but, but still, what we see and hear is incredibly powerful. <laughs> 